Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some fantastic basketball transition drills that I know will work fantastic with your basketball team. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. And I do post on every Tuesday and Thursday some individual basketball training sessions. So if you like that stuff, head on over to those videos as well. But anyways, today I am going to show you some transition drills that I have not showed you yet before on this channel, or at least I don't think I've showed you yet. I know I've posted a video a little while ago about transition drills, but they were more team-oriented drills. These are individual and two-player drills. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these drills. Okay, so here we have four different lines. Basically, these players are going this way, and these players are going that way. And this is transition basketball. So basically, what we have is these guys right here. They are our coaches. No, they are not referees. They are coaches masquerading as referees. Okay, I, I just don't have a coach's coach on, on here. It's just referee shirts. Anyways, so basically, what we are going to have is player one popping out and player five popping out. The coach, the player coach, the referee, whatever, he's going to take a shot. He's going to try and purposefully miss. Player one is going to get that rebound. He's going to pivot out, and he's going to pass over to player five. Now, on this side, the exact same thing is going to happen with these players, but I'm only going to show you on this side merely because I, I, I don't feel like doing the same thing on both sides. Just, I'm lazy. Anyways... So what's going to happen is player 1 is going to pass over to player 5, that is the outlet player, just like in a real game. Player 5 is then going to dribble to the middle of the court, and player 1 is going to dribble up that side of the court. Once he gets to the free throw line extended, he is going to go and cut towards the rim, and player 5 is going to pass to player 1 for the layup. Now, because player one started in this line, he's going to go on the outside, and he's going to get into this line. Player five, because he was in this line, is going to go into this line. Same thing is going to happen on this, this, these lines down the court. Okay. Once they go into the back of their lines, this let's just say they've already gone. Then you're going to be starting the drill over again. You're going to continue. They're going to be going this way. They're going to be going that way. Now, a lot of coaches call this full court layups. We call it that as well up here in Canada. However, basically, this is also a transition basketball drill, believe it or not. So player five is going to outlet the ball to this player. He is going to go and pass to player three. Meanwhile, player five is running down the court. And then we're going to have player four fill his will follow his pass and then player three is going to pass to player two he's going to follow his pass player five is going to be running down the court and then player two is going to pass to player five two is going to go in for the rebound and meanwhile the blue player is doing the same thing on this side of the court as well and just like so now once they get their rebounds once they take their shot they're going in the back of those lines and once the other players get those rebounds, they're going to be outletting the ball to the next player in line, just like so. Okay, so now in our third drill, what we are going to have is very similar to the full court layups, except we're going to be adding a defense in. So we're going to have player one, he is going to rebound the ball, and then he's going to pass the ball out to this player. This player, I should actually have these players over here, my fault, and... Once that happens, he's going to be sprinting down the court. Player 3 is going to pass to player 2, and he's going to follow his pass. This is happening on the other side as well. And once player 1 gets that ball back, what we're going to have is player 2 sprinting down, or player 1 on this side as well. Player 4 is going to be sprinting down, and they're going to be playing defense against the player who they just passed to. Now, what they want to do is try to cut off the player so that he doesn't get an open layup. Now we're practicing transition defense as well. He has to try and cut off the player before he goes in for the layup. Now, those are three transition drills that can help your team get better in the transition game, as well as help your team's cardio as well, because 
The transition game needs cardio. If your team is really good in the transition offense, then you're going to be really killing the team. If you have fantastic defense that makes turnovers, and then you have a transition defense or offense that is stellar, then you are going to destroy the other team. If you can continue to get steals and missed shots, outlet and go very quickly, you're going to have a fantastic score on the scoreboard. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.